guys, I'm gonna, uh, hello guys, if you haven't seen, okay, 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 let, let's start that over, hello guys, welcome to episode 2 of EVE Online, this is the second and hopefully last part of the tutorial, if it's not, then I'll create the third part, but now, this is going online the same the same time as episode 1 is going online, so if you haven't watched episode 1, uh, link's probably gonna be in the description or something. Okay, I'm dark. So let's get moving. So, in case you haven't seen the last one, you should go see it, but <laughs> in case you don't want to see it for some reason, I'm gonna tell you what's happening. So basically, I'm trying to get this thing, and I'm gonna kill pirates to get the thing. Okay, let's unlock. I have so. calculated the location of the nearest pirate outpost. You should now click on the location marker icon in the info panel. Warp drive active. Okay, so I am warping to the location of this place. I also just moved through a spaceship thing. Also gonna repair the armor. So that's gonna repair the middle bar, so Captain, I had calculated your combat odds to be within an acceptable level of safety. Acceptable. However, I did not anticipate the presence of corrosive gases in this area. <laughs> if you get caught in a gas cloud, your ship will start taking damage. Of course. In that case, you should use your afterburner and burn through the cloud to get out as fast as possible. Okay. Also remember that you can use your repair module should you take damage to your ship. Okay. You likely will. Yep. Captain, you should now approach the highlighted asteroid colony and activate your afterburner. I have calculated this to be the shortest route through the gas cloud. Approach? Afterburner? Repair model. Captain, there are a lot more pirates than I predicted, but I know you can do this. Remember your training. Approach. Lock. Orbit. Shoot. Where's the gas? Okay, so there's this guy called a better hoodlum and he's over there. However, I have no fucking idea where the shit is. So I'm apparently going through a gas cloud, which is apparently non existent, so <coughs> something's beeping at me. Guys, something's beeping at me. Don't like things. Stop beeping at me. <laughs> oh, that's what's causing the thing. Okay. I can't do this. So I approach him. No, not my corvette. I approach the enemy corvette. Lock the target. Orbit the target. at 1,000 meters and start firing
stop missing. So now I'm shooting this at last hoodlum. Okay. That's Bounty and now the other one. Clone the car punk. Where the fuck are you going? Stop the ship. What the hell? This is very engaging content. Slash combat. Approach. Target. Orbit. How you doing? You can stop now. So I haven't gotten the controls down yet. You're 35 kilometers away. You are 28 kilometers away. You are 30 kilometers away. I will attack you. is mine I will try to get you I will then orbit you too So this is the combat in the system. It's very exciting and fun. Yeah. It's so exciting and fun. Cannot believe how exciting and fun this is. So this is the last guy, probably. Damn it! Let me lock on! Let me lock on! You are a target. Bet at one thousand meters.
So now we wait. Wait. No. Until. So I'm gonna shoot this guy. Okay, that's done. Great job, Captain. I have highlighted the container you need to approach. You should loot its contents and then return to station. Okay, uh, loot. Be looted. I will loot you. So now we wait again. <laughs> I love how the content of this game is so like exciting, you know? So exciting. I mean everybody who wants action should play this game. And seriously this is a pretty cool game I think probably. So while we're doing that, uh okay. Help. Oh, we're there. Yay. I will loot you. That sounds kind of wrong. Loot all. Why are you shooting it? On the location marker icon in the info panel to dock at your HQ. Stop shooting it! Stop shooting it! Stop shooting it! Why are you shooting it? <laughs> so now we wait again. Donut Max Botico That's the way you deal with pirate scum recruit. I'm impressed by your diligence. Not only did you eliminate them all, but you also recovered materials that could be put to use in service of the Federation. You should get some advice from Aura on self-reliance and industry in New Eden. Okay. Building that analyzer from those materials will be the perfect test run. Cool. Captain, industry jobs are the Capsuleer's way of manufacturing goods for himself. Yep. They can be a path to great wealth if you hone your industry skills. You should now have the materials to start production of the data analyzer unit for your upcoming reconnaissance mission to the research facility. Okay, cool. I have calculated this to be important. To build this module, you'll first need a data analyzer blueprint, which you can buy from the market with your ISK. You should open the highlighted market tab and you... Once you have located the item, you should click on it to view the active cell orders. Locate one from the list that says it's available in this station, then right click and buy. Okay, I'll just go to blueprints, okay? Uh, ship equipment. 
scanning equipment analyzers. Civilian data analyzer, I think. Probably. So what's this Noreen? It's two thousand twenty thousand esque. At the station. Sounds like a deal. Now right click on your ship in the station and select open cargo hold. You can use the right click, select all, to highlight all the items in your cargo hold, and then click and drag them to the inventory tab marked item hanger. In your item hanger, locate the Civilian Data Analyzer Blueprint. You can right-click on the blueprint and select New. To the left, you can see the material Sorry, I'm focused. from your item hanger. Okay, okay. And on the right, you can see the output. Okay. Your brand new civilian data okay, 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 blah, 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 blah. This will start the manufacturing process. Start. Enough materials from the pirate out. Recruit, your preparation <coughs> might seem unrelenting, but you'll be thankful it is. Okay. I'm insisting on maximum readiness because I'm about to send you into a situation with almost no intel. The Sisters of Eve Research Outpost has gone completely dark, and we need you to get out there and find out what's gone wrong. Dun, dun, dun. Professor Tanner has asked to speak to you. Get whatever intelligence you can from her, okay? Probably. Okay. I'll connect her to you now. Captain, I specifically requested you for this recon mission to our research outpost. Why? I had to push this all the way to the Federal Intelligence Office's naval section. Why? The truth is, Captain, is this outpost hides an important secret. Perhaps more important than the secretive Commander Terrell realizes. Mm -hmm. There are few people I can trust. And I suspect Terrell is a member of the Black Eagles. The Federation's most ruthless covert operations agency. Their relationship with the Sisters of Eve has been strained, to say the least. Mm. You, on the other hand, plucked me from a burnt-out wreck. And I feel that I can trust you. Captain, yeah. it seems you are making some intriguing and influential friends. Your next journey will be a little longer than any you have undertaken in the... Okay, that's cool. The research outpost is one jump from our present position. Yep. That means that to get there... You will need to jump through a Stargate. Yeah. Along the way, many humans enjoy reflecting on the beauty of the cosmos and report feelings of tranquility and wonder. Tranquility in and wonder. Potentially life-threatening situations such as our current mission. Life threatening? Wait, no, no, no. Or use the Stargate. No. If you become a capsuleer, no, you can travel to the deepest sections of low sex space. Okay. For wormholes, or travel with friendly fleets through stargates. Captain, your civilian data analyzer is now ready. You should open the highlighted industry window, select the jobs tab, and click deliver. Done. Time to get that module. That's cool. To now. You are fully fitted for the research outpost. It's time to undock. It's time to undock. Okay, so while I'm gonna do this shit, I'm gonna actually do some commentary instead of searching around doing absolutely god knows what. So Click on the Today I had a busy day at school. To set your destination to the god damn it, this is my commentary! The oh god. God, why am I doing this shit? Why am I so shitty at this shit? Okay, okay, let's... Today I had a busy day at school, right? I had a busy day because I had to take the minibus home. Now you should select engaged. Oh, okay, this is not going well. Once your ship comes to a stop in the next system, click 
Click on the location marker I cannot icon set a way any info to the same location twice. This will take you to the research outlet drive active. Okay, that's cool. So today I had a busy day at school. I had to walk home. I mean, take the minibus home. Because you don't know what a minibus is. It's a bus, but it's mini. And it takes you home. And what I had to do is... I had to do math and history and Chinese and... Science and English. Those were my five subjects for the day. And I was very tired. So I got a friend called Chapman. If you haven't seen him in the... Territory Wars 3 video. Then you should go check his channel out. I got my friend Chapman to play this game. So because he's playing this game, right? We're probably gonna do a collaboration together. So watch out for that, basically. Yay. That's it. That's my commentary. So while we look at the tranquility of space, we can go here. We're approaching Rhine or some shit like that, and we're gonna go through a Stargate. Yay! Yippee do! Happiness! Yay! Happy! Okay. Whoa! Such good graphics! Okay then. You know, you should consider yourself lucky, recruit. Even though the Galente Federation is vast and contains hundreds of star systems, yep. many people never even get off their home planet. Oh. Not only that, but you were on your way to becoming an independent capsuleer. What? You your own ships. That's a very special status, recruit. Earn it. Here we are, recruit. Saving from a warning. To take a step into a dead zone. No pilot in your position has ever been allowed to enter a place like this. Yeah, why am I going alone? The fact is, these sites are always placed in some of the strangest and most obscure areas of New Eden. Yeah. And in fact, I have no idea what you are about to encounter here. Keep your eyes wow. Open. That's cool then. Captain, you should now approach the gate. When you are close enough, hold down your left mouse button on the gate and select activate from the radial menu. <laughs> so this is going is this is called a acceleration gate because it accelerates people. I hope it accelerates people. Probably just the rich people. No. Activate. So, I'm only allowed to play for 30 more minutes before I have to go do a club. So, I might have to pause this tutorial early. Of course, I might not, so. So this tutorial has so far taken like 45 minutes of my time. It's like a really long tutorial. I've got to say it's a really long tutorial. So. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. Wee. I'm at a place. Ding, ding, ding. This is worse than I expected. Another oh. fleet destroyed. The drifters have been allowed to go too far. They have. I need to know what happened here. 
We had no word at all that a fleet was in combat at this location. Wow. All I know is there should be a Sisters of Eve outpost there. Let's hope it's intact and hold some answers. Make yep. way to it now, but stay alert for hostiles. I hope they are known. This site is quite unusual, and it is enormous. In order for you to save time, you might want to activate your afterburner to travel faster through it. Right. However, stay alert, because this is uncharted territory. The Sisters of Eve have been doing some unusual research here, which does right. not show up in records accessible to me. We don't know what the Drifters were doing here. Be very careful, Captain. You should locate the info shard on your overview and approach it. Which one? That one. Uh, approach. Continue to approach the info shard. We need you to be within close proximity. Remember to stop your ship when you reach the shard. And now we wait again. <sighs> so now we wait 114 kilometers. Oh, that's fine. You see, 114 kilometers. That, that's completely fine. You see, I, I'm, I'm completely fine with waiting for like minutes on end. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine. So as you may know, this this game is probably not a game where I'm gonna log every single. What the fuck was that? Okay, this is not the kind of game that I'm going to like record every single bit of play thing gameplay I do. So I'm gonna be doing some work in between the episodes. So I'm gonna of course record the obvious stuff like big fleet battles and stuff and things, but. 50% of the work I'm gonna do off screen. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna get, uh, after the tutorial, I'm gonna go do some work that you probably don't wanna see. But this is the tutorial, so of course I wanna see this, cause this is the tutorial and all that shit and ends and stuff. 28 minutes. This is taking way too long. Okay, so this is going to be a three part episode. So watch out for those three episodes coming your way for the tutorial of Eve Online. Hurry up, please! Hurry up, please! Recruit, your sensor feed is showing some strange signatures circling the outpost. But I can't get a clear image. Can you see anything unusual around the outpost? Maybe the drifters are generating interference. Watch yourself. You're my only set of eyes and ears out there. Captain, for your ears only, I am afraid the drifters may have hacked our outpost. That could give them access to ship FTL comms and navigation systems we've been developing. Probably that Theoretically, thing. it might give them access to some of the ships we've installed prototypes in. It looks like our outpost is relatively intact. You cool. are going to have to try to hack into its mainframe to extract some information on what happened here. Cool. Be careful. Yep. Captain, if the outpost is still intact, it will have to be hacked. It's a good thing you prepared by bringing a data analyzer. You told me to. Hacking is a delicate process, but mastering it can give you access to a lot of wealth in some of the deep and hidden pockets. Right, so something I'm not gonna do. Walk you through the process. Captain, you should now lock 
target on the info shard. Okay, wait, wait, okay. Now, stop the ship. Lock the target. You should now activate the civilian data analyzer on... You are now attempting to hack into the info shard. You should select encrypted nodes until you locate the system call. After you click a node, the numbers that appear will indicate your proximity to the core. You may come across defensive software on your route. You should click on it until you deactivate the firewall. Four? Three. Three. Two. Two. Oh, I wished it. <laughs> Yay! Now you have successfully hacked into the info shard. You should retrieve the cargo. Loot all. In the name of the site just lit up like Crystal Boulevard. Professor Tanner, have you ever seen anything like this? Is it no. your tech? No, Fleet Commander. I have never seen anything like this before. I suggest the Captain get out of there as fast as possible. No question about that, Professor. Recruit, our tripwire sensor net just picked up a giant drifter fleet on course for your location. Shit. I don't know what you just activated, but it's calling up a storm. Shit, 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 shit. I'm a scientist, but I agree with the Professor's assessment. Get out before that storm arrives. Okay. Click the location marker icon in the info panel to travel to a safe spot. Warp drive active. <laughs> okay. We are moving places. Moving more places. Places are being moved, and I am moving them. Recruit, <laughs> if I hadn't seen you pull off some impressive stunts already, I'd suspect you of being some kind of double agent. What you've uncovered here is a feast of intelligence. Cool. The data that you just extracted looks like it includes key codes to activate the jump gate to the Drifter Hive's location. Cool. If you can get these to our fleet, we could use them to unlock the gate to the Hive. Cool. <laughs> You are going to be the toast of the fleet. Captain, congratulations on finding the Drifter gate codes. That is amazing work. The Drifters must have been trying to link our outpost to their network through that gate. But there's something else that worries me. Oh, what? I through some of the data when you brought me the mainframe online, and it's worse than I thought. I suspect the Drifters may have hijacked one of the capital ships carrying our prototype systems in their hands. It poses a great threat. Oh. The ship may be vulnerable to stasis webbing. It could slow it down to a halt. Captain, I'm going to upload to Aura instructions on how to fit your ship with a stasis webifier the next time you're in station. Okay. It will improve your capabilities out there. Okay, cool. Recruit, our comms keep getting blocked by Professor Tannen. I hope you're extracting some useful intel on the drifters and not indulging in gossip about hollow actors. Right. No, but seriously, I want to show you something. I'm sending Aura some coordinates. Get there soon, recruit. I think you're going to like this. What? Captain, the commander has uploaded the location of the forward operating base. This should prove interesting. Okay. Click on the location marker icon in the info drive panel active. to travel to the forward operating base. Okay. We are traveling to the location. I'm going to collect my reward. <laughs> Probably, I hope. <laughs> Maybe 
be a problem, but I hope yay. Please help. Yes, no, maybe so. Approach the gate. When you are close, use the radial menu to activate the gate to enter the forward operating base. Activate the gate! Warp drive active. So, this is about the end of the video. I'm gonna go back to base and do shit, and then I'm gonna do more shit, and I'm gonna do all that shit, and then I'm gonna do more shit, and then I'm gonna leave. So, yay! Yep, they do. Wow, that's a lot of buttons and lights and shit. Behold, a swift spearhead of the Galente Federation. Yay. Fleet. The strike force that will take the fight to the drifters. Dun dun dun! Yachts, battleships, cruisers, and frigates are all being prepared for action at our Ostrahus Citadel forward operating base. <gasps> soon to be equipped with the gate key codes you recovered, which will land our fleet in their front yard. Recruits, I don't usually do this, but it's going to take a few minutes to upload the jump gate keys from your mainframe. I suggest you fly down there and introduce yourself. The way a few of the captains have been talking, you're a lucky charm, and I'd like that luck to rub off. And enjoy the perspective while you can. That looks cool. Naval Capsuleer, you might command any one of these ships someday. I can tell you they're even more interesting when you're in control. Aura, help our favorite recruit get a clear sense of the power on display before us. Is this him? Is this the pilot that saved the research crew and found the gate codes? Captain, the assembled strike force includes several ship classes you'll often encounter in New Eden. Whoa. Damn, recruits. Took me six months before I posted my first confirmed kill. You can take a closer look at any of the ships by using the radial menu to select... That's awesome. Remember to refocus your camera by right-clicking and select Look at my ship. Hey, recruits. Our crew's been talking about you non-stop today. All right, all right, fleet. Calm down. Our hero of the hour is going to stick around while we upload the key codes from his ship. Then the Federation has a special surprise for him back at base. The Galente take care of their heroes. Am I right, fleet? Affirmative, fleet commander. Affirmative. Captain, the upload is going to take a while. In the meantime, take a look at our Astrahus forward operating base. It's a citadel-type structure. Citadels are the biggest structures in New Eden that capsules can build. These massive cities are quite the sight to look at. Since you have to kill some time while the key codes are uploading to the fleet, you have a perfect opportunity to practice some of your maneuvering skills. That is big! You can try manual piloting by double-clicking anywhere in space, or... You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard for a unique piloting experience. A unique piloting. Right, the upload is complete and the fleet is almost war ready. But while the last preparation steps are going down, I'm going to suggest you return to base and pick up that special item I was talking about a minute ago. Cool. Good, doesn't it? Sounds right. good. It's better than you think. When you are ready, fly to the forward point, next to the Dreadnought class vessel. <coughs> Flying to the forward point. <laughs> I'll draw the view. Um, this is actually really good graphics. I am... Um, that's really good graphics. I'm impressed. I am very impressed. Wow, those are amazing graphics. So this is the littlest I can do. Like this is all the lowest graphics and it looks like this. Come on. 
That looks awesome. So we'll make our way to the four point. And we are still in the tutorial after like an hour. I have 20 more minutes to complete this tutorial. Seriously, this long as fuck. Dun, 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 dun. And we have lights too. Because who doesn't like a light show? When you are ready to return to HQ, click on the location marker icon in the info panel. No, I got a four point. What's here? Where's my Prezi? What? Where's my present? Shoot it. Now turn your autopilot on. Autopilot engaged. When you reach your destination and the autopilot switches off, click on the location marker oh, icon in the it. info panel oh, to drop at HQ. Active. Your attempt to target beacon failed. That's my ship. In the depths of space. Approaching Stargate. And now we wait. <laughs> blah 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 blah. I like people who could blah blah. So this is so this is basically the end of the video. Once I get back to base, I am going to end the video and I'm going to log out. But while I'm here, you can enjoy the view. Sweet home. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Recruit, I have very high standards for my trainees, and you have repeatedly exceeded them. Yay. I have therefore decided to approve you for participation 
and the counter strike against the drifters. Dun dun dun. Operation Liberty Spear. Consider this your final test. Before yeah. Reaching naval capsuleer status. Yeah. I hope you don't think I'm going to let you go into the line with the trainees Velator class corvette you've been flying around all day. No, recruit. The Galente Federation always takes care of the people who fight for its freedoms. I'm now awarding you with a new ship to participate in my strike operation. Ooh. I think you are really going to like the added ass kicking power it brings. I'm also giving you some upgraded modules to fit to it. Now, the only thing left is to acquire the skills to efficiently fly your new darling. The operation can't wait for much longer, so let's speed things up with a skill injector. Normally these things would set you back a small fortune, but this one is on me. Fit wisely, recruit. We're heading up against an unpredictable enemy that has often surprised us. Nice. Before, guide our recruit through using the injector. Captain, you have been awarded with a new frigate. This ship is a considerable upgrade from your corvette. Nice. Your new frigate gives you far more flexibility in how the vessel is outfitted. For cool. your upcoming combat, I suggest using the afterburner and repair module you have already mastered. Nice. Additionally, you have been rewarded with some upgraded modules for your ship, including a few additional weapons. They must be very impressed with you since they have also awarded you a mini skin injector. Nice. These are usually only reserved for fully qualified capsuleers. But it is my assessment that you can handle a mini injector without major risk to your limbic system. Mm. Probably. Probably. Skin injectors are devices capable of transneural scanning and can lay synaptic patterns down in new combinations with skillbook data. What this means is that if you like learning fast, these are for you. Now, let's go to like the and optimally set up your ship for the combat ahead. Professor Tannen has advised that you fit your ship with a stasis webifier, and you should not take that suggestion lightly, Captain. Okay. Collect by checking your my items under the menu and inventory tab. You can move those to your item hanger by selecting them and clicking redeem selected item. Open your inventory and select I Captain, double click on your new mini skill injector and confirm the injection. This will give you unallocated skill points that you can Nice. Open your character sheet to use your unallocated skill points. I suggest you search for Frigate and drag your Empire's Frigate skill into the training queue. When you've done that, find the Apply Skill Points button and click it. Your Frigate skill will have advanced a level. These skills will help you become better prepared for the upcoming battle. Captain, it's time to use your new ship. In your inventory, select your ship hangar. There you will see you are currently in your corvette. Right click your active ship and click leave ship. Bye bye ship. You should now right click your new frigate and select assemble ship. This will finalize the last preparations and calibrate your vessel. Nice. Right click your new ship and select make make active. Wow, that looks cool. Corvette and select repackage. This will remove the modules fitted to that ship and make it easier to transport in the future. Repackage. Yes. It's now time to fit your new ship with modules. Open your inventory and go to item hanger. You will want to fit weapons, an afterburner, a stasis webifier, and your repair module. To fit, right click on each of the modules and select fit to active ship. 
You should then open your fitting window and ensure you have everything you need fitted to your ship. Now that you have prepared your ship for the... The fleet is at the gate, recruit. You know the objectives. Destroy the hive, remove the threat. With the drifter incursion pushed back, the Federal Navy can get back to securing our borders and the freedom of travel for our people. We can't really lose more resources than establishing a proper military containment of the Kaldari state. I must say that I'm hoping to learn more about the drifters from this attack. It's vital to determine why they have been attacking us and removing all survivors. We have lost too many citizens. You should now undock and click on the location marker. What's the stitches rubber fire thing? Then activate your autopilot. View content. Oh yeah, I've done my which is rubber fire. Wait, so what did I need to do? So my afterburner, my repairer, my gat railgun. Wait, no, I, I'm completely skilled. Know what I'm doing? Let's go and dock. <laughs> Wait, no, we're not gonna undock. No, dock. No. Dock. Because I'm out of time now, so I will leave it at this second cliffhanger. Now I gotta go through a lesson thing, so the third episode will be the here tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. You're welcome.